Hey you guys, it's your girl Nessa. Welcome back to another makeup tutorial. And for today I have for you guys a natural glam look with bottom lashes. If you want to see this makeup tutorial, just keep on watching. So I already did her eyebrows. If you want to see that brow tutorial, I will have that link below for you guys. So I'm going in with the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette. And I'm going in with that more tannish orange color. And I'm going in with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to be blending this into her crease. I'm not going to be using too many eyeshadows for this makeup look because I do want to keep it more soft and more natural looking and not so dramatic. So I am going to be buffing this in her crease and I'm just doing big circular motions. Big circular motions to diffuse the color out so it's not so harsh and it won't stay like as orange when you're doing bigger circular motions. So when I'm blending, I start on the outer part doing tight circular motions, bringing the color all the way in. I'm staying in the crease of her eye, like basically the socket of her eye. Once I do the little circular motions, have the color placed, then I will do bigger circular motions just to diffuse the color out. And then now I am going to go in with that brown shade with the same exact fluffy brush and I'm basically going to pat this onto her lid. As you can see, I'm doing more like tapping, flicking motions instead of buffing it. I don't really buff the dark colors because if I get the buffing and doing bigger circular motions, basically her lid would turn dark. So I am just going to basically pat this onto her lid. So now what I'm doing is I'm going back in with that first color I went with, that tannish orange color, and I'm just basically blending both the colors together. So now I'm going in with the Calamine Lotion. Um, basically what this is going to do is going to keep my client's skin very matte. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of the Milk of Manisha. I think that's how you say it. But basically this is a better primer for oily skin. So now I'm going in with Maybelline Superstay Foundation and I am mixing two shades for her. The shades that I'm going in was Truffle and Toffee. I'm basically going to mix these two foundations and apply onto her face. I do use a foundation brush. I feel like foundation brushes just work a lot better and I get more of a better coverage without using too much foundation. When I apply foundation, I'm basically going to be patting the foundation into her skin with a brush. I prefer patting because I feel like it just gives it a better coverage and I'm using less foundation. And I am also patting the foundation going downwards. So I'm patting, I'm patting it down. So about this foundation, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite holy grail foundations that's from the drugstore that's more affordable. I like this foundation a lot is because I think about longevity when it comes to makeup. And this foundation is very, very long wearing and it is more on the matte side. I do use this on clients that have more dry skin as well, just because I do think about, you know, my client's skin, foundation, makeup, anything just lasting longer than six hours. And this is a really good drugstore foundation. So now I'm going in with a fluffy brush and I'm basically going to be putting foundation right on the sides of her nose where the big brush can't reach. So now I'm going in with NARS concealer and I'm going to be applying this underneath her eyes. So I did use this for her eyebrows. I really like this concealer a lot. It's very full coverage and you don't need a lot of it. It looks like a lot but I promise you a little bit goes a long way. 
And now I'm just gonna go in with a wet beauty sponge and I'm going to be patting this out. Pretty simple, just patting it out underneath her eyes. I do not drag really the concealer when I first apply it on to the outer part of her eyes because I feel like that's gonna give her more of a wider look face. So I just apply right underneath her eyes and then I'll drag it out. So now I'm going in with the foundation brush and I'm basically just going to be blending out where the concealer and foundation meets so that everything looks all melted together and there's no harsh lines. So now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I really like this powder a lot and surprisingly translucent works for a lot of skin tones. What I'm doing is I'm basically putting the translucent powder on my wet beauty sponge and I'm basically pressing this into her skin. This is going to give her more of a brighter under eye. It's also going to set it and make everything look very matte. I'm setting everywhere where I put the concealer. So now I'm going in with the Studio Fix Powder in NC47 and I'm going to be applying this everywhere where I did and put the translucent powder. This is going to set her foundation so her foundation doesn't move and when we go in with the bronzer slash contouring it won't make it look muddy. So now I'm going in with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I love, love, love these contour shades, so I do recommend to get all three shades of them. I am going in with the shade Scope, and I'm going to be bronzing this right underneath her cheekbones. And I'm going to be blending this up on top, of on top of her cheeks. This is a very beautiful color, so I am going to be buffing this all over her face. I do use this for a lot of my clients, so if you're a makeup artist, I do highly recommend for you to get these powders. They work amazing. So with these Black Radiance powders, I really like these powders a lot is because they're buildable and they're very forgiving. You don't want to use like a dark contouring shade or bronzing shade and it's super dark on your client's skin, then it's hard to blend out. I love being able to build bronzer shades so that it's the color that I want it to be. So now I'm going in with another Studio Fix Powder in C7 and I'm going to apply this underneath her eyes. This is going to help my clients when they take pictures it won't have any flashback. I'm very big on flashback because I feel like flashback just looks terrible and it's just embarrassing like you know taking a picture and your face is super white. So I do highly recommend to set underneath the eyes. Now I'm using the same exact contouring palette from Black Radiance and I'm using a small brush to contour her nose. The way I contour her nose is where the nostril starts. I am going to be following that part of the nostrils, the start of her nostrils, and I'm going to be dragging this all the way up into her brow bone. Not her brow bone, but her, the start of her eyebrows. This is going to give you more of a natural look and I feel like with powders it just looks a lot more natural to contour the nose instead of with a cream. So I always go back in with the foundation brush just to blend out the sides so it doesn't look so harsh. So now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place The Warrior 2 palette and I'm going to be using that orange shade and I'm going to apply this onto her cheeks. I love Juvia's Place palettes for face. They work amazing and I love the fact that they have like you know multiple shades you could pick from this palette in particular is also a really good palette for contouring but I just prefer the, the black radiance one a lot better but it works and I'm going in with this kiss highlighter that I, that I got from the beauty supply store in the shade deep and I'm going to apply this on the top parts of her cheekbones 
this highlighter is beautiful and it's only like less than ten dollars so i do highly recommend to have this in your kit and now i'm going back in with the same as like highlighter and i'm going to be highlighting the inner tear duct of her eyes now i'm just going in with some black eyeliner and i'm going to be tight lightening her under eyes And then now I'm going in with that dark brown color that I use for her lid and a little bit of the black and I'm mixing it together just to smudge out her under eyes. I like smudging out the under eyes just because it gives it more of like a sexy, sultry kind of look. So now I'm going in with these lashes. These lashes, I will have it down below. I forgot what they were called, but my little sister's best friend gave them to me. So I wanted to apply them on my clients. They're super fluffy and they're not too long like the 25 mm's, but it does give it more of like a dramatic look. And the glue that I did use is the dual glue, the one with the green saying with the little brush. I like that glue a lot for my clients just because it actually sticks on all day. And now I'm going in with the bottom lashes. So I'm using short individual lashes. And you see the little like dots so basically what i do is i pull off like two or three strands and i basically place this right underneath her lashes and kind of stick it onto her lashes so that it sticks you do want to be very very careful when you're applying bottom lashes just because it is tweezers and you're near the eye so just take your time when you are doing bottom lashes I usually don't do bottom lashes, but I wanted to try something different. I feel like with bottom lashes, it just gives it more of a pop, and it just looks super cute and super dolly. And I only applied two under both eyes, right in the center of her eyes. And now I'm going in with a brown lip liner and I'm just going to line the outer parts of her lips with this liner. I really love, of course, you know, a brown with a nude in the middle. For the lips, I am going to go in with KKW Beauty's lip, oh, I can't talk, lipstick in the shade 1. And I'm going to go in with Cookie Butter from NYX. And I'm going to be mixing these two shades together. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush just to put this in the center of her lips. I do go on top of that brown lip liner a little bit just so that it blends in and it's not so like harsh where it's like a brown lip liner with, you know, the nude in the middle. And now I'm going to go in with the Morphe setting spray and I'm going to spray this all over her face and then airing it down. Okay. 
and now I'm just gonna help my client you know fix her hair a little bit because we're going to go in and take some pictures pictures are really big so if your client you know hair needs a little bit of brushing a little bit of combing comb her hair so that she looks good for your pictures so yeah this is the completed look what do you guys think I really enjoy doing this makeup look I felt like you know it's very simple it wasn't very complicated and I didn't use too many eyeshadows I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you did please give this video a thumbs up comment below tell me what your thought is about the video and please 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 do not forget to subscribe i appreciate you guys all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye